we have to find the critical numbers. We know that a number is critical number if this number belongs to domain of our function and the first derivative of this function for this number is equal to zero or the first derivative for this number does not exist. So first we need the domain of our function f. The domain because we have a power multiplication addition will be all real numbers. Next we need to find this derivative of this function. So we have 2 times the power is 1 over 5 times x to power 1 over 5 minus 1 plus the root of 3 is 0 so we don't have to write so this is equal 2 over 5 times x to power negative 4 over 5 this is equal negative sign means we have to put this x to denominator and because we have 5 in the numerator we will have fifth root of x to power 4 and what else we have to copy 2 and 5 we can put to the numerator so now when we have derivative we set our derivative equal 0 but what we have here we have fraction the numerator cannot be 0 and numerator can be only 0 but we have constant number 2 2 is different than 0, never be 0. So when we set our derivative equal 0, we don't have critical numbers. What else we can check? If our first derivative does not exist for some numbers. We have here fraction. We know that we cannot divide by 0. So when x equals 0, this expression will be undefined so we have one critical number x equals zero because x equals zero belongs to domain of our function so this is my solution